Thank you, Global High, for welcoming us. And thank you to this beautiful festival for having us go up. All right, so I'm here with Scott Emsley, who's the man behind Kiloha. Scott, thank you for joining me. Um, I'm wondering how the weekend's going so far, in your opinion. It's been amazing. We had a really good dip first couple of days. Uh, yesterday, we had some awesome performances. I thought the Arkells put on an amazing show. They just uh, laid it on the line. And same with Matt and Kim. The crowd's on their feet the entire time, waving their arms. It was it was so awesome. For me, that's what it's all about. That's why I do this. It's uh, those moments. There's moments at a festival where the artist connects with the audience and you, you feel like you're part of a moment that's a shared experience that can never be recreated and it's a really special feeling. So I, I know last night there was a number of those moments and you know, for me as an organizer it's really exciting to see to see people having such a good time and yeah and really enjoying the good weather and the awesome music cool well we've had some great bands here last year some great bands here this year if there was no obstacles at all and you could have anyone play kiloha who would be your ideal headliner uh i have a number of top picks that's a tough one uh I just saw Mumford & Sons down at the Gorge, that was an amazing show, I really liked the XX, uh, they'd be high on my list, I think Vampire Weekend puts on a really good show. Uh, yeah, we are in Kelowna, so it's a small market and there's budget constraints, but uh, yeah, I, I really like the, the new music, so the bands that are on their way up or you know, just release an album, so I, I think that's one of the cool things about this festival is we're featuring a lot of bands that... You know, our headliners have been around for a while, but the up-and-coming bands are fairly new, but they're rising quickly. You know, like Current Swall and Capital Cities, and they're, uh, you know, they're going to be the big names in the next couple of years. For sure. And this is the second year for the festival. Um, what's the biggest challenge in pulling it all together? Obviously, a lot of work goes into it. Yeah, it's amazing the amount of work that goes into producing a festival of this scale. We've been producing the Center of Gravity for about six years, and that started very grassroots and uh, grew very fast. Uh, because of our experience with that festival, we have a really good team, and so for me it's actually been quite in enjoyable at this festival. I've been fairly hands-off with a lot of the operational stuff. But uh, yeah, basically, you know, eight months before the festival, we're into planning the logistics and you know, looking into insurance liability, and then we start with uh, you know, the sponsor of acquisition and then the talent buying. Um, it, crowd control is always our number one priority for us, so making sure that we have a good site layout, uh, we have a good security plan, and we're flushing the crowds properly. Um, so, yeah, you know, that's one of the you know, 30 things that uh, we have on our list of things to do, checklist for a festival. But, uh, yeah, it's a, you know, there's always ways to improve, so anyway, we always look to make it the best experience possible. Now I know that there's a lot of fans who just love Kaloha, I'm one of them, I really appreciate you putting it together and all the work that goes into it. Um, what I'm wondering is if you had to sell it to the people who weren't here last year and didn't come this year, how would you sell it to them? What would be the, the one sentence, the elevator pitch? Well, it's Kelowna. It's the uh, first weekend in July. Uh, amazing talent and, and, like I said, a lot of really good live performances. Uh, we have an art element, so you know that's awesome. But it's also the people. We have. It's a really good crowd that's coming to Kilo. Very respectful. They're here for the right reasons. They're here because they're really passionate about you know, the artists and the music, and uh, it's uh, it's a great celebration. Cool. Uh, what was the inspiration for you putting this show together? Uh, a lot of the team from Wet 8 Productions is really passionate about the indie music scene. Uh, Center of Gravity has shifted more to uh, the dance music. We do have a lot of EDM and hip hop. So we wanted to start a festival that was strictly about the bands. It was about the, the true music fan. Uh, so I guess that was the inspiration. And then this is Waterfront Park is such a beautiful park. We, we thought it was this venue would be a perfect venue and it played into this uh, Hawaii, tropical island Hawaiian theme that we've created here. But yeah, it, it all seems to be working. We got a lot of really positive feedback. Great. Well, thanks so much, Scott. I appreciate your time. Thanks for putting this together and enjoy the rest of Kiloha. Yeah, thank you. Cheers. Thank you, Kiloha.